my own test stick. Is this like test designed so that it's impossible to do this? And then. Do you use OBS for Exploit Destiny? I don't fucking know, dude. How do you not know? Did I win? Begin whenever you want and draw one line through all the doors, but you cannot go through the same door twice. Hard but possible. Oh, okay. it's fragged? Oh, I guess I have autism. I can't take it. Oh yeah, it is rigged. Wow, how dumb. <laughs> Alright guys, what do we do? How do we fix XJ9? We play League of Legends. First we have to make XJ9 realize there's a problem. But he doesn't realize there's a problem, so now what do we do? I'll listen to you if you play one game of League of Legends. No, you won't. Yes, I will! I'll change if you play one game of League of Legends. Intervention with his girlfriend? I don't think his girlfriend wants to talk on stream. I wouldn't allow it anyway. You wouldn't allow it. There's yes. nothing wrong with that, right? There's plenty wrong. Do you think it's kind of bad that you think you can tell her where she can or cannot talk? There's reasons. It's because she, she she's, acts very biased and she would make me embarrassed. Do you think that's kind of fucked up? Do you think it's embarrassing for your girlfriend to talk to an audience? Um, maybe I wouldn't say fucked up, but I would, I, I would say fucked up. How is it fucked up? Because it's fucked up. It shows that you have no trust in her. That's not well lately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know. I belong in the 50s? Tell her to end. I'm pretty sure their relationship was over, but I'm not sure. I don't know nope. If nope. Would she overreacts. Nope. It's not over. Maybe he thinks she'll come back. To it her. will not be over, or there will be huge fireworks. Huge in my head. fireworks. Yes. Do you know what Explosions. happens? If those huge fireworks happen, what happens? I see. post your phone number on Twitter and we all call your house over and over and over again. Yeah. And how mad do you think your parents would be? Very mad. Pretty fucking mad, huh? Mm hmm. Do you think that'd be worth it? Uh, can I just leave a no comment? Do you understand that blackmailing somebody means that there's no way they can ever give you an honest opinion about anything? Uh, it's like do you I want to date be somebody. Honest. Do you want to date somebody who's only dating you because they know that if they say no, that you're gonna fuck their life up? I don't fuck their life. You I don't. Just said there would be fireworks. Yeah, my birthday. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, look, okay. Listen, I don't know. Okay, I'm just having a bit of fun. Okay, um, um, that won't happen. Don't worry. So if she messaged you right now and said. X J and I don't want to date you anymore. What would happen? I would say no. We're talking right now. Give me a call. I don't like people that run away and take the easy way out of the problem. I mean, it's not a real problem, but they call. It. Okay, so she can get on the call right now. Why? Because you said that if she wanted to rig up with you, she she's could asleep. Get on the call. All right. Well, if she was awake, you would want her on the call right now. Not in this call, I'll talk to her personally. Ooh, you just said right now, you just said she could jump in the call. If okay. you said you said if she was in the if yep. she if, if she, she was ready, if she wanted to break up with you right now. Uh, yeah, I, I, if she typed to me, I'm gonna break up with you. I'm like, I'm like, no, we're talking right now. Okay, what if she typed it to me? What? I, uh, Are you ready? Over what am I ready for? I'm gonna throw in the call, okay? What? Okay, what? No, what the fuck? With you, dude. You're fucking scaring me. Destiny, can you please stop? I'm sorry, okay? Please stop, Destiny. Please. Destiny. I'm serious. Destiny. Yo, please. this can be a learning experience. Let's talk about what just happened there. Are you ready? Okay, Destiny. Okay, look at how cool that was, what just happened. Right? Okay. So, okay. you started, I started to talk about a scenario that could happen with your girlfriend that I know that you wouldn't want to happen, right? 
Uh -huh. I even fake typed to make it sound like I was talking to her on Skype, right? Mm -hmm. And then I threatened to drag her into the call. Do you know why I did that? Why? To fuck with you. But do you know why mm -hmm. I know it would fuck you? You always do that. Why? No, but do you know why I know? Because I understand how you feel. Because I have empathy, right? And I know that that mm -hmm. kind of shit would make you nervous, and it would probably make you very upset, and you, right? Mm -hmm. It See, would make so you nervous. Now, look how look how I thought about what your situation. That, that, that's why I said to I understand like, your feelings. You know, no, but look, see, do you see that? Dude, that's like empathy at work. I yeah, understand and, your and feelings. and then that's why I said to her, I was like, when you got Destiny in the call, you know, I don't like talking to people, and how could you do that? Okay, like, you're deflecting again. We're learning about empathy right now, okay? Okay. So so right? Did you do you understand how I how I looked to your feelings there? That's what I do too, Destiny. No, you don't. Because you still can't tell me how you think she feels when you boss her around all the time. Bad. What? Bad. Bad isn't a descriptive it's enough sad. word, dude. Bad, sad, miserable, controlled, I don't know, pressured. What do we say, guys? I don't know what to say anymore. Fuck, dude. <clears throat> I think we need some soda and one game of wheat. <laughs> how can no? How is there not a single person that you would look up to? Because I mean, like, who do you look up to, Destiny? I'm pretty narcissistic, bro. I don't look up to anybody. I'm not gonna lie. What's narcissistic mean? I'm, I'm sorry. Similar. I'm... I'm similar in that regards. I don't really look up to any other people. Wow, Destiny, we're so similar. Yeah, so but see, the difference see. is I'm willing to reflect and listen too, to other Justin. people. No, you're not, though. I reflect on what when I do. When people say things to me that I severely disagree with, I'm able to think about them, I'm able to consider them, and in some fucking absurdly rare circumstances, I'll even fucking change my mind. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. There are some things that I have felt incredibly strongly about in the past, and even though I don't look up to anybody, and I don't talk to people that I respect about their opinions there are still things I've changed my mind on. Like, I don't say faggot anymore on stream, or at least I try not to for the most part, right? Mm -hmm. Things like that, because I actually listen to other mm -hmm. people and I try to do that shit, you know? So, yeah. we're not the same. Don't say that. That's probably the rudest thing you've ever said to me in my entire life, that I'm still the same as you. <laughs> that was a long time uh, ago. No, what? No, I, I am ago. like that, though. Like, honestly. No, you're not. You're not. Yeah? You're not. Destiny, You're don't be not. like that. What do you mean? Don't be like what? Because I am very... I, like, I know what I do. I'm very aware of what I do. No, you're not. You can't even explain how your girlfriend feels when you're manipulating. What does it say? What's the special word? There's not a special word. Is it supposed to be a sentence or one word? Just, like, talk about how you think she might feel when somebody's dictating orders to her via Skype. She feels very controlled and fresh. I don't know. Controlled I isn't a feeling. You don't go to bed thinking like, oh, I feel so controlled today. <laughs> Maybe she does. Okay, can I explain what I think that she might feel? And then... Okay, okay. You could maybe, right? Okay. Okay. When somebody is telling you things like that over Skype, I think it makes you feel stupid and inferior and like you're not equal in a relationship right so if you're on Skype yeah, she does say that she, you, does, she says that she feels very so you, you, she you said make, these things to you before and you can't even tell me what she said before do you even listen to because her? i mean she feels bad it's like the same no, thing no 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 it's not feels bad that doesn't mean anything if you've ever taken an english class well when you grow feels, up, if you go back to high school and you take English classes, that when you do writing or whatever, they tell you not to use words like good and bad because they don't mean anything. Yeah, so she feels depressed. No, you're just like searching for In words. Like, is... You have to, like, the words that I'm using have meaning to them, right? And I can expand upon it. So when I say she feels inferior, like not even in the relationship, it feels like you have like a parent-child transaction going on such that you are legislating to her via Skype what she can or cannot do. And those kinds of conversations mm -hmm. she doesn't look forward to. It probably makes her feel bad because it's a fucking awkward scenario where she has to do something that makes her unhappy by deciding who she can or cannot talk to. And she has to make difficult decisions on how much of my personal life should I actually let this guy know? 
Um, should I even have a personal life? Is it worth the enjoyment that I get out of him to sacrifice the enjoyment out of all these friends? Like every time you dictate orders, the enjoyment she gets is false. Stop. Every time you dictate orders over Skype, she has to wrestle with those things in her head over and over and over again on every single fucking conversation. Every time she talks to you, she's probably thinking in her head like, oh, like what can I tell him? You know, like I talked to four guys today. Should I even bring it up? I probably shouldn't bring it up because I know she's gonna she fight does. Yeah, she does do that. Yeah, I'm sure she fucking does. So when when you, when you have when you have a relationship like that, like she probably dreads talking to you half the time on Skype. When she sees a message from you, I'm sure she's thinking like, oh fuck, like you probably heard from a friend that I was in a like I played a ranked five or I played like a normal fives or whatever with somebody, and now I've got to talk to him about the people that I talked to. Like, pe- like those are the kinds of things that she's possibly thinking every fucking time you send her a message on Skype. When I when I ask you when I ask you like what how do you think she feels? That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for, right? So you understand mm-hmm. that, right? I didn't just say she feels bad or it's depressed and bad means the same thing essentially, right? No, it's not. It's not about the it's not about using I know, one but, or two but words. But like they they are not descriptive words to the extent that you're using them like the yeah, if I use. were to walk up to you and I were to say, Hey, that guy feels bad, would you know anything about what the fuck is going on in his head? No. If but I were to go up to you and say that guy feels bad. Why depressed. does he feel bad? Yeah, there you go, and you start to dig a little bit deeper. He feels bad because his child died of cancer, and every time he goes home and he looks around, everything reminds him of his kid or whatever. Like, those are like, and it's like, oh, now I understand more. We play one game a week. No, what the fuck, dude? I don't know why we can't play one game a week. Why do you think she wants to be in a relationship with you? Well, I'll be honest. Well, the first time she... Right now, uh, stop. Right now. When she wakes up, why would she still want to be in a relationship with she's you? She's angry. She's angry at me, so she doesn't. She but, wants to be angry? I need, I need, no, she's angry at me, so she doesn't want to okay. be alone. But when she I mean, wakes up in the morning, why do you think she would want to be in a relationship with you? Because she cares about me. You think she cares about you? Yes. And that's enough to stay in a relationship with you? But, well, more, obviously. She cares about me. I know deep down that she does indeed love me. What do you mean by that, love you? Love me as in she knows I can be really loving to her and that these fights are just dumb pretty much. Can like you it is... describe something besides without using the word to describe it? What do you mean by she loves you? She, like... Oh my god, my brain. Uh, okay, so... Repeat again. I'm sorry, my brain. Why do you think she wants to be in a relationship with you still? Because I treat her very well, and I when do you I treat her well, and how? How can you possibly say that? I treat her well because I I'm really sweet to her. I say sweet things like being sweet you know, to somebody on the contingency that they're not allowed to talk to any other guys in real life or in a video game. I sweet, sweet and that's not being sweet. Even that's though I don't think this is the reason, like that's being possessive and controlling. It's not. No, sweet. no. Like even yes, though I don't think yes. she, she realizes that the reason is that like I'm also I give her like I'm helping her in life in all nobody then I, no, people don't go to relationships for a, for a father or a therapist you can't tell somebody what to do over and over again expecting that they can see the greater good no because like i'm pretty much teaching her what i know you don't yeah you're younger than her though how do you even know that you know more how does that matter i'm not the one that drinks and goes to the fucking parties before what's wrong with you haven't given me one good reason why drinking and going to parties is a bad thing yeah, you continue to, it, to it, parade it, around it, like it's it, the horrible, most worst thing in the universe. Because it promotes reckless behavior, and then Lots you're comparing. Lots of shit. Driving, driving can promote reckless behavior. Being tired. Can drunk promote driving reckless does. Behavior. Driving doesn't. Driving on, on its own. Driving is pretty fucking dangerous. A lot of people get in car accidents, bro. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't even have to engage in risky behavior. Like, no, you don't have to. Bullshit, oh, shit, dude. Fucking what if somebody else on the road is drunk? You could get hit. Yeah, and that's because he drunk. Got drunk. Yeah, the small. other guy though it wasn't your fault. There's if the other guy, if the other guy hits, like, there's like, plenty of stuff that I, that's not being reckless. The guy was being responsible. The guy fucking ran them. Yeah, but he can still get what hit. A shame. I'm just saying that you could, there's a ton of shit that you could do in life that could lead to bad shit, but you can still do things responsibly. Do you eat a lot of junk food? It's pretty reckless. Are you on a strict diet? Do you work out or exercise? Do you work out or exercise? I think saying Do you even do like your cardio shit? Because sitting like, outside all day in a chair is bad for you. That's pretty reckless for your health. 
But it's like, like, like it's, it's like everything can be bad in some way in society. Oh, but it's like, oh, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Everything in some ways can be bad. That's a perfectly rational statement that you could defend with rational arguments. Everything in life could be bad, which is why we have this special thing called. Can you guess the word? It starts with an M. All right. Fuck. Sorry. No. no sorry. I, okay. I really like that. That's okay. Sorry. Everything in moderation can be okay. Can you agree with that? That if you moderate enough, you you can even yeah. things that might be dangerous yes. can be okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Wow. So taking the next logical step, something like alcohol, which could be reckless, if enjoyed in moderation, could be an okay thing, right? If, yeah, as long as you don't drink a shit ton. Yeah. Sure. I could agree with that. So people that go out and drink and party, it could be an okay thing. Doesn't necessarily. It's not that that action isn't intrinsically bad. By going out and partying and drinking, that's not inherently a bad thing. It could be bad, but not necessarily, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? If you disagree, tell me. Be- <sighs> no, no, so, I. Why you so repeat yourself? I'm the sorry. The problem, like here's here's a big problem that you have to wrestle with yourself is that if you think that you're so right about everything, then the, the cognitive, cognitive dissonance should bother you a lot. It should, it should nag at you, and it, you should hate yourself for it. You should hate yourself that you can't defend your irrational thoughts to me. That should drive you crazy. No. Yes, because I'm a very rational person. If you can argue something to me... I'm a very rational person. Okay, okay. if you can argue something to me, then I'll believe you, but you can't defend these thoughts to me. That should bother you. Does it not? No, it does not Why? bother me. Why doesn't it bother you? Do you think it, I'm being irrational? Well, no, but the, with like the moderate There's only stuff. two options. Either you think I'm being irrational, or you think you're, you're being irrational, and you don't want to confront that irrationality. It's one of two things. If you think I'm being irrational, then I invite you to tell me where I'm wrong. With the whole moderation? Yeah, so it's okay. Drink. Yeah, well, it's partying and drinking. You can party and drink responsibly. No, but it can be okay. But most of the time, it's really bad. Like, like, the, like when she went, she always got super, super drunk and just drank everything because she was gonna like leave and shit. And it was just like, eh. Okay, so maybe instead of telling her that she's not allowed to ever go out and party, maybe instead you should push her towards the moderating it a little bit more. Next time you go out, don't drink as much. Have a friend with you. <laughs> I'd probably say don't bring a friend with you. Why not? <laughs> you don't fucking like like those people. Even a girl. Um, girl, not so much. Depends on the girl, though. The girl is a bit more leaning on. Okay, well, like, let's look at it. Now, let's look at it from her point of view, okay? Where she's mm-hmm. dating two different XJ9s, okay? Okay. One XJ9 is saying, hey, when you go out to party, don't drink as much. Like, take a friend with you. I care about you. I don't want you to get wasted and crazy drunk, whatever. Can you just take a friend? It would make me feel better trying to drink as much, right? So, from mm-hmm. her point of view, she's still able to go out and party. She's still able to have fun like that. And she knows that you have kind of a problem with it, but you're willing to work with her on that, right? Oh my fucking god, it's almost like a real relationship where you're making compromises and working with each other, right? Mm hmm. But instead, she has this. It reminds me of this episode, like, because, it, it, like, tr- trust me, it is relevant, where. Okay, it was an episode of My Life as a Teenage Robot, and pretty much a relative came to Jenny Wakeman's house, right? And the. The one, the one lady is into science, and the other person is into nature, and they fought with each other. And then, in an episode, they said to each other that they can like be like together, you know, like like instead of fighting to each other, they can accept their differences and be, you know, I guess a family. And then that was the end of the episode. Sure. So, like, I guess it's like that in a way yeah a little bit where you understand that you have a difference with another person but they don't have to be a carbon copy of you for you to get along with them right yeah but you don't agree with that though you can tell by the sound of your voice you don't agree with that wait no because wait carbon copy of me yes what about it as in it seems to me like you 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 rather than acting like um do you know anything about biology what about it? Okay, so you have these things called symbiotic relationships, where mm-hmm. two species will work together, even though they're different, and they work together with each other, and then they're happy, mm-hmm. and then fucking everybody wins, right? And then you it's have sort of these like things insects called, and plants. Uh, yeah, sure. And then you have these things called viruses that infect everything else and, and make them exactly the same as themselves, yep. right? Yeah, you are yeah. like a virus. 
I'm a virus? Yeah, because you want, Dude, this is, you you want to turn everything into exactly fucking you. No? I think... Mm, mm, I think so. <laughs> you think so what? I'm like, dude, this is like fucking... You ever play Prototype? No, what I've heard about dude. it. Dude, yeah, dude, this is like fucking Prototype. I'm like fucking Alex Mercer right now. Does he turn Beast. other people into himself? No, he kills him. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to stop saying that partying and drinking is bad? And you're going to alter that to excessively drinking? It usually is bad like but it can be done it's like, in moderation yeah but it's like society doesn't do that dude. you don't think the majority of people drink you think that if you were to go to a club right now how the, far the you chances live is higher do you think that if we go to a club most of the people in there are going to be completely fucking wasted yes okay as somebody who's been to clubs in los angeles miami and fucking Creffield, fucking Germany, okay? I've never been to a club before where everybody inside was completely fucking wasted. It's never happened in my entire life. Can you tell me a club that you've been to where when Not you went inside, everyone, everybody was like fucking wasted? Majority. Where more than 20% of the people were absolutely fucking wasted. It depends on the club. Like, for example, the club she went to was, like, usually really... It wasn't actually a club, it was one of like concerts, but, like... And then another one was uh, when okay. a bar Have was closed. Have you ever been down. to a club before? Nope. Because okay. I've never been... So do you I think maybe, place. maybe you're not in the best position to make an accurate judgment about what goes Because I know what it is. How do you know? Because, like, well, the first time I started knowing what this is is when my friends at school were like, Oh, hey, why don't you ever go to these parties? I'm like, oh, because I'm not into drinking. So the same people that you think are stupid and unworthy of giving their opinions and, and all of these horrible, horrible things because they belong to society, you take their opinion at face value in regards to clubs? Why? That doesn't sound very rational, no? That you think that they could be incorrect about so many different things, but they can give you a perfectly accurate picture of what goes on in some other place. Doesn't yeah, it sound like you're kind of cherry picking? I see it all things? over. Like, what do you mean you I see it all over? Well, media. Nowadays, because I don't really go to school anymore, but back in school, everyone was always drunk and shit. Like, people everybody go to school. Everybody was drunk in school. Not, oh my god, you know what I mean by everybody? The majority, as in, like, people every were day. Drunk like, in like school. literally everyone would always, like, drink and shit. In school. Not in school, but you know what I mean? Like, like all of them I are don't drinkers. I know what you mean. I'm asking, they're all drinkers? Like, they all, like, what, after yeah, school? Like they, they they, 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 yeah, like, I, like, Instagram pictures of them drinking and fucking smoking. I don't know what the fuck they're, like, they're smoking. Every something. single person did. Not every single person, but I see pictures of people doing that. And it's like... Okay, so they, some people drink and smoke some amount after school. That yeah. That doesn't sound that bad to me. That I statement thought, right there sounds a lot less worse than everybody they think it's in fine. society it's not is fine. constantly it, it, wasted. It, smoking and is completely horrible. It doesn't do anything. <clears throat> I mean, arguably, the negative effects a smoking has on your health is probably the same as you sitting inside playing a computer game all day. It's, they're pretty it's not that. I do. I do push-ups. That doesn't help you with anything. I do put. I do fucking fifty push-ups a day. Doesn't help you with anything. First of all, no. you don't do fifty push-ups because it doesn't. Why would doing push-ups? How would you not? Push-ups? How would you know if I don't do push-ups or not? Because I know you can't do fifty push-ups. But how? Why do you think that would help you? Uh, keep me in shape. Keep my fingers are also. The my, dude, my fingers are so it strong. It's like fucking five muscles in your body. How would that keep you in shape? You're not doing anything for your cardiovascular shit. You're not doing anything in regards to dieting. Like, why would you think that I'm just skinny, doing dude. Push-up? It doesn't matter to you skinny. Skinny doesn't mean healthy. I'm skinny. I eat good. I had a friend <laughs> when I was younger. I used to think the exact... Dude, I fucking... My, your mind... There is a segment of my mind that contains all of your mind. Did you know that? I know you don't know that. You don't believe me now. I used to think the exact same thing as you when I was younger. And my aunt has a friend, an amazing guy. His name is Paul. And he has hilarious stories. This guy's been all around the world. He, um, he, he conducts international business between the United States and China, right? And he's, in a, he's a British dude. He's funny as fuck. And I always asked him because the guy was pretty fucking built, you know? He was fucking built to shit. Um, like, you could tell he went to the gym. He rode a Harley Davidson. You know, he's got scars and shit. But he smoked. He was a pretty heavy smoker. And I always asked him. I was like, why, why do you smoke? Like... It just seems like such a waste that you, that, that you would smoke and still do all these other things to stay in shape. Like, and you eat pretty healthy and everything, too. And he told me that smoking was his vice and that he enjoyed it. And I said, that's kind of silly. And he's like, do you smoke? He's like, no, I would never smoke. Like, I would never do that. 
And he was like, do you work out or do you do anything like that? I was like, not really. And he was like, do you like pay attention to your diet or do you eat healthy at all? I was like, no, not really. And he's like, so why is it that you who pay no attention to your diet, don't do anything in regards to keeping your own body healthy, criticize me because of one vice that I have? And then after he said that, I kind of felt like an asshole. Like, why would I tell him that smoking is bad for him when I don't do shit for myself? You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you, do you understand how that's kind of... I mean, because it's like, am I going to be like obese as fuck if I just sit here? Doesn't matter if you're here? obese or not, dude. Being skinny doesn't make you healthy. I know. But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna like die when that won't happen. Like, I won't die know. sitting here. I mean, if you have to run a long distance, you boy boy sits on his ass all day. We're not talking about boy boy. Are well, Phantom Lord is the same thing. Is he gonna We're die? We're talking about no. Phantom Lord. Phantom well, Lord and boy boy. Thing? Phantom Lord and boy boy. Well, maybe Phantom Lord does, but boy boy is not an incredibly narcissistic person who thinks he's better than everybody else. I'm just <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> he's in a no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Even Phantom Lord, dude, you're. As narcissistic as you may think Phantom Lord is, your narcissism is like four million times greater than his. Look, people are saying Boy Boy works out with his team. That's what, dude, I don't like Curse because they're a bunch of elitist fucks. That's cool. We're not talking about Curse right now. Well, I mean, because you said he works out. I'm like, okay. does he? I don't even know. I work out. I do 50 push-ups just like Boy Boy. Okay, but do we? Are we starting to see a little bit? You can't do 50 push-ups, dude. <laughs> do you want me to put on webcam and do 50 sure, push-ups? Go for it. Okay. Do you know how I link my Skype? I'll do it 50 push-ups right now. Go. Show me. I'll, I'll be impressed if you can do fucking five push-ups. Okay. 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 And then you set up my expert. I hope I don't crash. Let's see this shit. No, just do it on Skype. Just do it on. I know. I I can't share screen unless because my Skype is linked to my XSplit and not my Logitech webcam. You can't just click on Skype, go to tool, or go on Skype, click the little button on the lower right, the five bars, and set the webcam to your webcam and then just stream your webcam. Oh, let me see if I can do that. So where do I go? Tools? No, 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 no. On the lower, on Skype, in the call box, in the lower right, you where that call quality information, that five bars are, just click that. Then click webcam and bring up the webcam. You should be able to select it there. Or actually, just, oh, yeah, wow. just click the turn on video button and I should be able to see it. Amazing. Okay, thank you. Okay, this will work. Okay, let me, let's hope I don't crash. My Skype might crash. Wait. Okay, I didn't, okay, it didn't crash. Okay. Did you see my... Wait, okay. I'm fire making RuneScape. Okay. Click turn on video. Oh, there we go. I can see a little bit. Uh, oh, you're not naked or anything, are you, dude? No, why would I be naked? Are you ready for this shit? Fucking 50 push-ups? Oh, man. Oh, holy shit, they see me! Everybody okay, sees you, dude. Ugh. You gotta turn your lights on, right? Alright. Hey. We're, we're ready, dude. Alright, let's see yeah, it. Right. Ugh. Okay, let me position this right. <laughs> Wait, I need to get this right. Oops. Wait, is this good? Yeah, that's beautiful. Wait. I can't. Wait, just do them next to your door. Just like face your door and do them. Is that good? I yeah, Dude. face your door. We're gonna do this shit. All right. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing, guys. I'm sorry. 